Hello, this is the Blueprint City Generator add-on. So let's delete the cube and delete the light. If you don't know how to install it or you need to update it, you go to Edit and then go to Preferences. And then you just search for it, search for Blueprint. Once you find it, toggle this button down and hit the Remove. And then you just reinstall the new version. Okay, the new zip file that you would have and restart Blender and everything should work. So this is a better UI. I have a little toggle downs here for the different buildings. Um, and I've also implemented rooftop items. So I'll talk about that and I'll be implementing more things as, uh, as time goes on and everything that I can. I also have made it so that every building has a random color texture applied to it. There's a variation right off the bat for it. And I added a safe proof thing where you have to click the one of the buildings in order for the button to appear so you can't just run the program with, with nothing selected. One thing to note on, on the building Gabby, I'm still working on that one. It, it doesn't work with the rooftops right now, so don't use it. Uh, I apologize. By the time this tutorial is over, I'll probably have it fixed, but uh, you can test it out, but it, it doesn't work right now. So I'm just going to select Rocky, CC, and Jesse under apartments, go to business and select those two. And then in skyscrapers, I'll select these two guys. And these names, they're all uh, family members and friends of mine. And since I built the app, I figured, you know what, I can name it whatever the crap I want. We're going to build 10 by 10, which is 100 buildings. It's a lot. Be patient if you do something this this big. But typically, I think 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 is, is a lot faster. But make sure you're patient with this process. It will pop up eventually like this, and you'll see all the buildings, and you'll be filled with joy. So the rooftop items are really simple right now. Uh, they're just cubes. I'll work on making them better detailed. I'll be adding lights also in antennas and I have floors in every building now. So if we go into the like material preview and you can see that all of them are actually uh, random colors and different shadings and really help the variety of the city so not so the buildings don't all look identical. Some people were talking about like how to how to change the material settings and the buildings and all that stuff so i i'm gonna do that this is not a tutorial on how to like texture your building and make it look more realistic so you have here if you click on the building go into that material previews you have all the different materials that i've created for the buildings so everything that starts at the bottom deals with the bottom half of the building like the very bottom and then the middle is uh is the main part of the building and the um the roof is at the very top. I really tried to make these so that you could customize whatever you want. If you click the middle wall, you see how it has that, that weird color. You can change it to anything you want. And that's how you can begin to customize your buildings. Typically, you would actually go into your shading tab and really in the shading tab, you would go in and do a lot of work in adding grunge and, and adding uh, wear and tear to the buildings to make them look more realistic. There's some amazing tutorials online on how to do so many other things that you would want to do, like adding concrete or making making textures look like concrete procedurally. And, and So this is not a full comprehensive tutorial on, on how to make these buildings look realistic. Um, a lot of it would just come down to your knowledge and expertise in Blender. And once you, you know, the better you get and the more familiar you get with different tutorials on using textures and applying those to buildings and, and to making concrete and, and different things procedurally, you know, the better you can make these buildings later on. And at this point, it's just a matter of you making your scene however you want it to be and working that out. I hope that this helped you get along a little bit further but I really honestly this is not a beginner's tutorial by any means for anything so I really expect people who watch this to either a have a knowledge already of how to texture buildings or to be learning that from other tutorials so that they can come to this with a better idea of what they want to do I'm working on this alone but uh, it, you know it, it's an incredible project and I'm super happy to do it so 
make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want and support me that means a lot just to keep me going through this you can find information about this is in the description below it's free right now you can pay what you want so thank you so much take care